here boys and girls and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be um, doing some estimating um, using water and some containers that I found in my cupboard. All right, I'll let you take a look at what you're going to need to do this activity. All right, so to do this activity, you're going to need a bucket of water and three different sizes containers that you might find in your cupboard. I found um, a cream cheese container. That's my small container. There's my medium container. And here's my large container. And I'm also going to be using one of my ladles from my drawer. And then, boys and girls, for fun, let's just make the water blue. Can you zoom in on that? Are you in? Yep. Okay. So let's make the water blue. I'm just going to add some food coloring. You don't have to, but I thought that we could live on the wild side today. And it'll make the water easier to see in the containers. And so you can see here that I made a um, chart to help keep track of um, what we estimate and then what the actual amount is. So here I have, it has, it says small, medium, and large. Here it says the estimate, which remember is your best guess, and here it has the actual number. This way we can see how close our estimate is to our actual number. All right, well I've got my uh, buddy Mason here is going to help with making our predictions. Okay, Mason, take a look. This is the small container. How many scoops of water do you estimate will fit in the small container? One. You think one? Yeah. I think that's a pretty good guess. Okay, Mason, put your estimate in the right column. This one? That's the one. The small container. So your estimate is one. Let's see how many it takes. All right, well, let's see if Mason's prediction is right. We're getting one scoop. We're gonna put it in the small container. And, oh, what do you think, Mason? Were you right? Yeah. Yeah, it took one scoop in the small container. Okay, you estimated one and it actually took one. So put the number one in the right column. Oh. Nope, right here. Oh. That's the actual number. All right, well now we're moving on to the medium container. So Mason, take a look at the medium container. How many scoops of water do you think it will take to fill it? What's your estimate? Two. The estimated. Mason, finish two. making the number two in the medium container in the estimate column. Like Very good. All right, let's see if Mason's estimate is correct. Here's our medium container and let's count. One, two, three, and four. So that took four scoops. All right, Mason, the actual number was four scoops. So you're going to make the number four in the actual number column for the medium. On this. Gotta do it quick. How many scoops do you think it will take to fill the large container? How about ten? You think ten? That's that's a really good estimate. Let's find out. All right. Well, we are going to see if Mason's estimate was correct. He estimated ten. Let's see how many actual scoops it takes. Count with me. One. One. that was a really close estimate you estimated that it would yes you got marker on your hand it's okay 
you estimated that it would take 10 scoops and it took nine. So can you put the number nine in the right spot? The actual amount was nine. Good job. Yay! All right, well that was fun to do some estimation using some water, especially playing in the water when it's been so warm out. Oh, it's a great idea. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have fun doing your own water estimation game. It doesn't matter which containers you get, whatever you have in your house. If you don't have a ladle, you could use a spoon. You could use anything that would carry water. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a fun Tuesday, and I hope you have fun with this activity. All right, bye for now.